Hi there, welcome back to ADSR FMH Tutorials. Make sure you get yourself subscribed to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. I'm going to continue in this tutorial today and look at the arpeggiator in FMA. We started off last week and just covered the global and mode options that we have in the arpeggiator. Today I'm going to look at this tempo box here and expression as well. So I've got this arpeggiator sound set up. We've got a couple of stats up operators here you know some frequency modulation going on in this FM matrix uh, everything's rooting for a filter so got this nice filter to play with and in the master section a couple of voices some detune and panning some digital bit crushing and also got some effects in here as well, some EQs, reverbs and some distortion. So we've got our sound set up. Um, of course I've got the arpeggiator switched on here. And then in the mode, key synced, tempo synced to the host tempo, so 125 BPM. And let's just chill out a little bit. And then in this pattern editor, we set up a little pattern here. We've not used the tile accent yet, and just the note order stayed the same. And we've just got this kind of transpose the semitones here. And then an up an octave at the start to give us that kind of high note at the start of the sequence. So let's start by activating the hold function here in this mode section and then hold down a C3 note and then we get that sequence playing over. And in the tempo box, the first thing we can look at here is the, the kind of tempo or the BPM. But because we've got this tempo sync to our host door, this is just gonna stay at 125. Keep dropping back down to that until you uncheck that tempo sync. And then we can start changing that tempo in there. So next to that, we've got the time resolution. So the moment it's on 16th notes, you can change that to 8th notes, 32 notes, second notes. It's sounding quite cool on 8th notes actually. Underneath here we've got the option to do triplets. That triplet time and also dotted. You can get some quite interesting kind of rhythms going using the triplets or dotted functions. You can take this a step further. Over here we have the note length. Which is quite a cool sort of thing to play with. Just add that to sort of the automatable parameters on your arpeggiator along with your filter and stuff. You can play that note length. And next to this we have shuffle. So we can add a bit of a groove to our arpeggiator. And so once you get past about, up to about 30 or 33, it kind of goes into triplets sort of, if I go take the dotted off, we go back to eighth notes and the shuffle of about 33 and we're kind of in triplets sort of time there. So you can add some nice groove to your arpeggiator sound using that shuffle kind of feature. So they're quite creative sort of tools for kind of using or making arpeggiator sounds. So take that shuffle off for now. And next to this is the expression box. So what we have in here, we have a velocity switch, a velocity control, accent, split, and then this kind of learn. This is like split keyboard feature here. So when I first got hold of FM8, this had me stumped for a little bit because it didn't seem to have an effect on the sound. But 
basically you need to make sure for that kind of velocity to have any effect on the sound or to be active you need to make sure that your operators are velocity sensitive so if you noticed here all my operators I've turned the velocity to full so if I turn this arpeggiator off for now and I hit the key lightly and get much sound if I hit it a bit harder So I've got a very velocity sensitive sound to begin with. So with this arpeggiator set back on, this velocity switch basically means we have a fixed velocity when we hit the or play a note on the keyboard with this arpeggiator sound. So and I can fix the velocity amount in here. So So no matter how hard or soft we hit the keyboard, it's going to play back at that velocity level 105. And then we can set it again here at 30. And no matter how hard or soft I hit the keyboard, it's playing back at that velocity level. Of course, if we turn the velocity switch off, we're getting velocity sensitive kind of sound, you know, if it's a soft key press and we're getting quite a quiet sound, and you hit the key a bit harder, we're getting a much louder sound. So you can get a bit more expressive with your kind of arpeggiator sound using this velocity switch on or off and the velocity amount so next to that we have this accent and this is relevant to the third kind of channel we have running here accent so we can add accent to individual notes so if we have this velocity playing back at about 58 quite quiet can add some accents to every other note here And then the level of these accents is controlled with this control here, this parameter. which just again adds more expression to the arpeggiator sound that you're kind of working on or designing and stuff so and the final bit of this section here is this split so we can actually split the keyboard here so if I activate this split box here and with this set to C3 basically means from C3 and above not getting any arpeggiator sound anything below C3 and then we're getting the arpeggiator and actually you can set this to learn here so if I hit learn and then hit a key it learns that key and then splits splits the keyboard based on what key I've pressed there so hit learn and then hit the key and then it split it at F2 and by unchecking that bass box basically means I've switched around the order so if I check that again F2 and above you're gonna have no arpeggiator sound anything below F2 getting the arpeggiator if I turn that off F2 and above we're getting the arpeggiator anything below F2 the keyboard split in the other direction so that's those two boxes covered there the tempo and expression features on FM8 arpeggiator next week we're going to be delving into this pattern editor in a little bit more detail and creating some more complex arpeggiator sounds so make sure you come and check us out for that of course, any questions you had about this tutorial, please get in touch, let us know. And uh, make sure you get yourself over to our website, fm8tutorials.com. Tons more tutorials on making various different sounds with FM8. And thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.